Good morning, Ledoux crew. Welcome, welcome. This morning, we're looking for a Tangla, a Boy Tangla, a Meltang growth, as it were. Again, there's like, what, day two, day three for this one? I know, wild and wacky. Also, today's only going to be about an hour stream, because I've got to take Atlas and Nova to the groomer. I know. Uh, I didn't realize we scheduled it for stream in time so i've got to make sure i get time to get ready get them ready and to be there on time i know while like so about an hour stream today boys and girls so without further ado let's get right into this just so that we don't waste too much more time all righty all right now of course if we do see a ting growth right off the bat or very early on in this stream uh g great news right it'd be fantastic news um, even though our next will our next thing we'll be doing after this thing we will be going back to sword and shield to evolve our Natu into Zatu and then we get to we have to figure out what game uh Relicat spawns in because I do not know I must like I said before my dog your dog will give a heck yeah dude oh wow how dare that cat be in your backyard I cannot believe this that is so that is so what is the word? I, I lost the word. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe that cat. Yeah, no, I felt like, uh, Nova woke us up last night. Yeah, at like 1.30 a.m. We just hear this horrible hacking sound. And uh, then we had to change our goofy bed sheets and everything. And it was an absolute nightmare. So, yeah. Inconsiderate of your sleep schedule. Yes, absolutely, yeah. How inconsiderate of that cat. I think that was the word I was looking for anyways. Nice. Nice. But anywho... Anywho, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a good day, a good morning, aside from your dog waking you up, of course. I guess, yeah, you wake up, like, you're, like, Pacific time or something, so you're, like, yeah, it's super early. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. I mean, on the positive, though, I mean, next week at this time, I mean, you, uh, you want to wake up early for stream. Stream will be, like, after school and everything. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very weird. It's gonna be odd. I know also stream schedule will be changing. Um, Shock has asked I don't stream on Mondays. So Mondays will be off limits. Do we, okay, understandable. Understandable. Yeah, Shock's off at like 5 o'clock on Mondays. And so she's like, how about you don't stream? I'm like, okay. I still have to do work though. I still gotta work, work on stuff. So we'll see what happens. It's gonna be inter It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like the first time really ever where I've been doing my main, like, weekday streams when Shock's here, so it's gonna be very odd. But we'll see what happens. We'll see how, if it gets wacky, wild, or what happens. You know? I don't know. I'm excited and very nervous for the, uh, for next week. But on the positive, I've, I'm almost done with, uh, a small, tiny snippet of the new outro. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Guest, guest, yeah, guest appearances by Shock will be abs will absolutely be a thing. Um, oh, she won't do that. She does not play Pokemon. Yeah, no. If any, if we were doing like a collab, if we were like to stream together, it'd be like Minecraft or something. Like it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a Pokemon. It wouldn't be Fortnite. It wouldn't be anything that is super interesting to watch. <laughs> to be fair, unfortunately. You'd watch it, you'd w just us being dumb on Minecraft. I've done it. We've played Minecraft so many times. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. She's wanted me to, like, try Skyblock. So we could bring this a challenge mode, I guess. We could give that a shot. Minecraft series win. Dude, there's been so many Minecraft series on this channel. And they always fail miserably. But, you know, maybe. Maybe this time it'd work. Skyblock Adventures? Yeah, where it's like you start off and you can, like, you can, like build, like, cobblestone bridges and stuff to, like other islands other floating islands and stuff oh just for you that'd be kind of funny to be fair i don't know we'll just see what happens i mean to be fair i mean if that were to be if we had like what if we had like monday like minecraft mondays or something right that could possibly be a thing if she's down for it if she's down for it right then we just sky block for a couple hours and then the yeah. Get get viewer feedback for building bullcrap. Evil smile. You'll have to message her. She's on Discord. Uh, her name's Shock. You go to the Discord. Find her on the underneath admin or something. She better be an admin. I'll feel so bad if she isn't. Um, and then be like, okay, I bet. 
go ahead. She's it, it's it's up to her for Monday for Monday nonsense. All right. Because it's like the only that and Friday. She's off like really early on Fridays, where like she'll be home before I'll be home on Friday. But Friday, like we, we I gotta stream Friday. There's no way I don't stream Friday. I mean, come on, come on. Holy crap. But nah, so I'm, I'm I'm super excited. Like to be fair, like um, with this new intro and outro, um, I don't know what I'm doing with the intro yet. I have no idea. I have the music. I like the music. Uh, the outro still needs music. The outro I have an idea for, but it's a it's a it's a lot harder than I thought it would be to learn how to use Unreal Engine Five. But after using it, like it's so cool. Like if you're into like games where you have to like build cities or build like ter if you like like you know changing terrain very quickly and easily and whatnot i would recommend just downloading unreal engine 5 and treating it like treating it like a video game instead of as a building program sound weird like it's so fun just to build landscapes and build stuff in unreal engine 5 and it's so seamless once you have everything once everything's set up it's seamless and it's out it feels it literally feels like you're playing like I wanna say like a, I wanna say Jurassic Park's the last game I remember that had like ter terrain deforming stuff. Like this right here, this ledge, if they built this in Unreal Engine 5, I knew how they did it. And um Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Semi realistic? No. It, Unreal uh, Unreal Engine makes um, hyper realistic video game environments if you have the right settings, and so I'm building an outro with using that and uh, Pokemon models, and I'm hoping I, I I know like someone someone on in on the Epic Epic Games team built a Pokemon environment with po po like actual Pokemon's models in it, and they 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 fit in so seamlessly with the Scarlet and Violet textures. They they look so good. With, and with like the the ray tracing and everything, it's gorgeous. So I'm I'm giving it a shot. Yeah, like literally they posted it like shortly after Unreal Engine Five well, like came out and whatnot, and like the the project title is like uh, potential potential lawsuit from Pokemon is the name of the <laughs> is is the name of the goofy uh, the pro project file that got uploaded. It was so funny. I wish I I, I probably had the image somewhere because I thought it was hilarious, but. I don't know where I would have saved that at. Pull on my phone somewhere. Because I was like, that is a brilliant title name for a project. So yeah, I'm working with Unreal Engine 5. Um, I've, I've, gone, I've gone through hours and hours of tutorials on how to use it. And... I wish Pokemon liked themselves, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I wish they, they care. I wish they liked themselves enough where they would push boundaries on their own games. And, uh, do, do stuff. Right? Now, I gotta be honest, I don't know how to make video games in Unreal Engine. Like, I have no idea how that goes about, or how to even do that. Like, I'm still learning. But, the whole, I'm just using it for, like, anim for animation. Is all I'm using it for. That, too? Yeah. So, I'm, I, I've, I've built an environment. I've got a camera set up where I want it. I tried bringing Whooper in yesterday, like, before I had to go do things. And... It didn't go well, but once I get Wooper in, I can then like build a. I've got to build a skeleton for the boy, because for some reason Pokemon doesn't have skeletons. Like they do, but like whenever people like rip them from the games, they don't have the skeleton. Oh really? Nice. Your dog sell down. Like, well, now that you're sell down, now I've got to get up and go walk around and run around and have a good time. And your dog's gonna be like. Excuse you? I just laid down. How dare you? Right? How animation stream win? I I don't know if I can stream and run Unreal Engine 5. I, I know like the there have been so many times when my computer hits a hundred percent CPU usage and just freezes for a second. And I'm just like, dude, what did I do? What how did I mess up? This is like I'm using Nanite and stuff. Nanite makes it so your computer won't get completely bogged down when working on something. And uh it still gets bogged down. Oh, it absolutely is, and like the thing is, like my computer is, my computer is built to edit. It's built to handle high-end nonsense. Like it's got like 64 gigs of RAM, which isn't a lot in nowadays stuff. But it, it it's I've maxed out the cart, the slot, the the RAM slots, right? 
DDR5. Um, it's got a 3090 in here. So, like, it's not a bad... It's like a 10... A 10... 900, uh, Intel 10 900, I think. What is the, uh, the, the chip? The processor? So, like, it's not a bad computer. It's just... Unreal Engine 5 really for some reason bogs it down sometimes. And it's not all the time, it's just sometimes. But if that happens while I'm streaming, that'll crash the whole system. <laughs> so I don't want that to happen. Don't worry, you guys will see the, the final result. Hope eventually. Uh, eventually, because I want I still have to figure out what the like I said, I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do with the starting thing, because I'm not I'm not an animator. I've said this a lot. I'm not an animator, I'm not really an artist, but 3D environments are fun for me to work in. And uh, once I figure out how to animate, Whooper, Whooper is easy. Whooper has no arms. Whooper has no like no no fur or anything. It should be easy enough. The hard ones are going to be like Gardevoir and Charizard and Torterra if I decide to put them in there, which I want to, of course. I just have to figure out how. And I've got to make like a whole like 3D model character, like a Pokemon trainer. And I have no idea how to do that yet at all. I mean, it's understandable, right? Like, the only... I used to... I wanted to be, like... Wanted to make, like, a 2D animation thing. And it's... Oh, my God. It's buried. I, I hope it's buried. Hey, we have, an, we have an outbreak! Thank goodness, finally. Um, Of, like, Ledoux and against some... A sea monster creature. It's really bad. It's really bad. But it was my first 2D animation thing. And I had fun with it. Uh, it was the only one I ever made. I've done stop motion before. It's not hard. It is. To me, it is hard. Uh, the reason I say it is hard. Oh my. Dude. We have, okay, so we have some good stuff. Uh, we're going to go for the unknowns. And we're going to hit each and every one of these. We're going to not see a goofy hangla, but that's whatever, I guess. To me, it is hard because you have to make the, the animations line up. Right? The animations have to be... They have to line up properly. They can't be like too wackily distorted, which is why I'm like big into 3D animation because I don't have to. I don't have to like. I can try out different angles and stuff and not have to like re completely redraw it. So for me, like the, the freedom of 3D is very nice. You know, 3D animation you have to, you have to add more animation to it because it's you know more realistic, but. Or, you know, usually it's more, more like realistic, but it's fine. You get that? Yeah. I, I'm I'm very indecisive, which is a problem, I guess. It might be ADHD, who knows. But I'm very indecisive. So, like, I have no tattoos or anything, right? Because I know if I get a tattoo, I'm going to hate it in, like, three or four weeks. Like, I, it's, it's, how I, it's how I do things. It's like, oh, this? Yeah, I'm kind of tired of see, looking at this or seeing this. Let's change it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like why like the the start the current starting soon screen and it's a beat. Um, current starting soon and ending screen have bugged me for a while now because we haven't changed them. a new horde. It was there wasn't supposed to be a second horde. Hannah probably Hannah probably be the direction to go then. Yeah. Why? Let's go. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Nice. Ah, yikes. I screwed up. Oh, are you the last one? Z, are you the last one? Wow, dude. Crazy, dude. Look at that, dude. I, dude. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're gone. Thank goodness. I know this is kind of technically a waste of time, but I, I, we really do have to get some more berries. We're, we're having a, we're having a problem in the future. It does. It really does. It doesn't look good. Yeah, it looks. It looks kind of dumb. Unfortunately, it's like how dare they mask your my boy Z? How? What? Why is this? But I get it. I understand. I suppose. Where are you at? Oh my God, no! Oh, crap. What do you, dude? How come I can't like? This is, that, that hitbox is stupid. Okay. Yikes. Dude, what are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. I caught Toxic Rope. Good. 
Yeah, if, uh, if this is the berry spawn, it better be. Aha! Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. We're doing good, we're doing good. Do we have an onyx? Wait, it just dodged. Yeah, it's dodging me masterfully with that goofy rocket. There is, like, is there an onyx? There is. Oh my goodness. Guys, if we see a shiny alpha onyx, I'm gonna lose my absolute mind. It's like the, I want a, a shiny alpha stilix. I think it'd be cute. Of course it would be, it's stilix. What are you on about? Where is Patelli? Where, where are the French shell? What's this? Is it up, is it up top? Probably. Are you up here? Where are you at, you goofy little thing? Where, wait, where, literally, where is it? Um. Onyx won't be that hard to see. Okay, so it's behind us. In open field, okay. There they are, there they are, nice. Perfection. They're a bit, a bit cowardice, it's fine. Oh no, Telly no, Telly no. Perfect. Okay, we 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 hit it. You yawn. Dog gave you a weird look. Oh my! I was like, excuse you. I'm the only one. Yo, hello, Max. It's like, excuse me. Dog was like, I'm the only one who's yawning in this household. How dare you, human? I can't believe it. So sad. It's like, nah, nah, nah. nah. Everyone can yawn. It's fine. But good morning. Good morning, Max. How come I'm missing my shot? Okay, whatever. Let's go for Onyx. Cute. I like Steelix a lot, okay? I think it's a great Pokemon. I really like its design, okay? So, yeah. Alright, we're going for berries right now, which is why we're going for all this weird nonsense. Oh my goodness. Alright, can we can we snipe him from up here? No. It, that hit? Oh, I'm amazed that I actually hit. No rock snakes, no, you giant buffoons. Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> this isn't what we wanted. I'm actually really surprised the onyx were this slow. Like, it's, it sounds weird, but I'm surprised they're so slow. Drop's kinda small. Terrifying? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit, you know? A little bit. I wish they had a smoother walk animation, but that's fine. Oh my god, hi. You guys, like, not? That'd be, that'd be great if you just stopped whatever you're doing. Well, I want an I want she left you. Oh, man. Okay, they're gone. We have one more, I think. Yeah, we got some Bronzor over here. Imagine, guys. Whoa, holy crap. Bronzor. Wow, amazing. I know. I know. Probably time? Nice. No, I like uh, Goofy like, Alpha Onyx in this game. They're absolutely fantastic. They're, they're ridiculously massive. Like, they're, they're so huge. I want to get a shiny one just because, like, like, a shiny Alpha Onyx. It'd be cool. Unless, of course, we get Bronzor Cute. Bronzor Cute Alpha Onyx? Yes, Alpha Onyx is ridiculously large. Yeah. So, uh, Alpha One... M Max, you know Alpha Pokemon, right? I see... The yeah, it, it exists. It's a thing. Uh, Alpha One are just massive. <laughs> There's lo they're larger versions of Pokemon. Do you have ice? Oh man, how can you drink your coffee without ice? Oh no. Okay, well. This game, I swear. Okay, you need to stay in the Pokeball, please. We're not playing this game, okay. You, yeah, that's fine. You just stop moving too, please. Oh, you're slacking on legends. Okay, so there's Alpha Torterra over there, glowing red eyes. Um, okay, those are gone. Now Max, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So they're just large. They're very large in comparison to um, other Pokemon. They're also highly aggressive. But yeah, they're just they're just large. It's better when you see like a Teddy Ursa or something. I like guess like a different Pokemon that's not that you can actually compare the two right next to each other. 
but it's fine. 48. Nice. Nice. Of course, a reminder for everybody, today is a short stream because I have to take Atlas and Nova to the, uh, the groom, to their grooming appointment. I know, crazy. Um, so, yeah, but we got about 40 minutes remaining. Okay, everybody, just so everyone's fully aware. What is, is it Friday? Hold up. It is Friday. Man. Exactly. Ooh, spa yes, they're getting a spa day. Those little, little beasts are getting spa day. They're, yeah, they need it. They do need it. <laughs> They're stinky. They're, they're just stinky because they run around a lot. They have a lot of fur, and they're highly energetic, and they, they sweat. Wait, th th where's the camp at? There it is. We gotta sleep till midday, so we spawn in our baloney. Nice. See, we would do that, but they would run away. They're, they, <laughs> they're little buttheads, okay? I was never absolute buttheads in terms of taking a bath. The dog stinks. Oh, no. But yeah, now they're just stinky babies. It's fine. You know, they go to the, they go, they go to the groomer every like two weeks, I think it is. So it's pretty normal at this point. All right, no shinies. So that Max was here. I don't explain what I'm doing. It's fine. Max knows what's up. I think everyone knows what's up. I guess like the one thing. Have you guys seen? Uh, have you guys seen Star Wars? The new video game that's coming out. Like, I'm not gonna, I don't want to talk about the way it looks or the potential gameplay. I want to talk about the pricing for it. Have you guys seen that crap? It's like 70 bucks for base game, which is the new norm. Okay. The new norm. Yeah, yeah it's got like Star Wars Outlaws or something like that. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not going to play it. I, and the reason I'm going to play it is because, um, hooey, it's 70 bucks for the game, which is normal, like whatever, but to get the game three days early. Uh, with the first DLC that will be released on launch and something else, I don't know. It's some, some other bullcrap. It's $110. But wait. There's more. <laughs> Let me bring it up. Hold up. I gotta bring this up so I don't hit you guys with myth, with uh, launching a DLC. Yeah, launching a DLC with the game is wild. It's so dumb. Hold up. I mean, Star Wars Outlaw? Yeah, Star Wars Outlaws. I just want to look at this real quick. It's on Ubisoft. Play early with the... Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we... G you sack of I forgot I've got more than... I have four monitors now. Hello, Mehu. Welcome back. I'm glad you're back, dude. Good to see you. So, you get... Th uh, it's $18 a month with Ubisoft Premium. That's not what I want. Where's the... Discover, discover the additions. There we go. So, gold additions, $110, right? Base game, Porter bonus, three days early access, and a season pass. Crazy. Uh, Ultimate edition is $130. Pre-order bonus, base game, three days early access, season pass, rogue, and some bundles, and a digital art book. Crazy, I know. So such garbage nonsense, right? Or you can just go for $18 a month. You can just play the, the Ultimate Edition with your Ubisoft Plus account. Imagine. This is all an attempt to get them to pro for you to do the 18 bucks a, a month. For their stupid little nonsense, right? Um, so yeah, this game is hopefully going to fail miserably due to the pricing shenanigans here. And uh, I, I really do hope it fails. Exactly, yeah, yeah, that's how, yeah, yeah. But 130 bucks for uh, the, for the full experience of the game, right? For the full experience of the game on day one, and you that's before even knowing if the game's gonna be fun or not. If the game's gonna be a broken mess on launch. Right? It's probably gonna be a broken mess on launch. I'll be real. It's, it's Ubisoft, right? They don't make... They're like... They're worse than Game Freak. They don't even... Fin they, I say that. They, they sometimes patch the games in the future, but who knows? Modern Apocalypse setting? Does it? I don't play, no. It probably does. I mean... They're probably on Tatooine, to be fair. It's probably like a Mad Max ripoff. Because it's like, oh, we have, a, we have a sand planet. Oh, we need some cool space bikes. And space vehicles, cool, yeah. It it looks dumb. from what I've seen it looks stupid. I, I watched snippets of the trailer. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. What am I doing? Hold up. No, we're not we're not running away yet. We gotta check on Tangrowth first. What am I doing? But yeah, it doesn't look it doesn't look very good. It doesn't look very promising. Uh, but you know, someone's gonna buy it. Sees a quicksand. You know that'd be cool. I don't know. Why, why not? 
I mean, have have they explored all of Tatooine? I don't, I don't know. Tatooine seems like it might be a fairly large place. It could have quicksand seas. It, the thing with Tatooine that's really weird though is how how did it survive? Right? How, how did how did Tatooine survive? But who knows, right? But like, because like Tatooine, what are they going to grow in the desert? It's a desert planet. What what on earth can they grow? How can they survive? Where's the water source from? Is their water super deep under the planet sur planet surface, or like what? How how is Tatooine viable, right? I have I, no idea. <laughs> no idea. It's very odd. Groundwater and imports, yeah, but you gotta keep in mind, like, they didn't always have space travel, right? Like, before space travel existed, how did that planet, how did that planet thrive as a, as a civilization? Or survive as a civilization, right? Or was it one of those, like, after space travel happened, someone crashed there one day, and then they're like, oh, well, we're stuck here now. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, giant well things, true, yeah, they do harvest giant well things, you're right. You're absolutely right. I munch likes. You better show us a Tangla outbreak or a Tang growth outbreak. After space travel type situation, I would think so too. Nice. We have a Tangla and we have two berries, three berries. We'll go for the berries after Tangla. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens, guys. And also, it's really nice that we get to fly directly this way to our lovely Tangla. Cause we could see the, ta the Tang growth being a shiny, or our little, you know, our our normal Tangla over here. All right, uh, we have a uh, we get the chance of the lifetime. Small no, it, yeah, like the sand people, right? However, they survived, right? That sounds rude. That's literally the, the, what they're called. Or Tuscan Raiders, they're not the Tuscan Raiders. They used to be called sand people, right? Goodness. Hello, you? No, 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 no. You're not supposed to be. A, oh crap. You guys are not to be aggressive, you're speed like weird little jungle plants. It's literally your whole it's your whole thing, your jungle plants. Oh yikes, okay. No, 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 no. Right here, perfect, thank you. Okay, you next, thank you. Oh yeah, I mean tr true. Oh no, our tinglos were a bust as always. This is so sad, guys and gals. Okay, let's go collect some more of this nonsense. How many do we have? 160. Okay, so we're doing we're we're, we're doing okay in terms of uh, berries. Are these Yanma? Wait, they are Yanma. Great. Yanma are great, guys. Okay, don't don't don't, don't question it. Yanma are the ultimate dragonfly Pokemon, and they are aggressive. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. I knew Yan Mega was, I didn't think Yanma was. Nice, I've caught so many of them without being spotted. This is such a good time. I I thought we were fine from that distance when the name escapes you. Clone Wars spin-off. Oh god. Is it I think it's just called the Clone Wars if it's a Clone Wars spin-off. Oh the Bad Batch. Oh that was oh of course that was Clone Wars related. Yeah, okay. Nice. I completely forgot they did that. I really kept up with like Star Wars. After the first Disney film, I kind of just dropped off. I was like, nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll stick with the, uh, you know. I'll stick with, like, the memories of the old school stuff. I don't know. I don't, it just, I was excited when Disney bought it, because I was like, oh, cool, but more Star Wars stuff. And then after, like, that, the re, basically the remake of the first, uh, first movie, but Disney style, I was like, eh, whatever. Unfortunately, you guys, you people, you little yellow ducks, 
Stop it. Oh my god, dude. These absolute units, guys. Okay, can I hide behind a rock? Are we done here? Okay, we're done here. Nice. We have some right horns, and we'll be we'll be done with this area. Well, yeah, that that stuff is they really bad miss potential. I was really hoping, like, I think if Finn had been the, the if Finn had been the the Jedi, or if like they'd all three like somehow awakened it or whatever, like if the Finn whole story with like. Him being a stormtrooper and whatnot was super cool, and they just dropped the ball on it. I don't know what I'm saying. Finn, Finn being a stormtrooper is cool. They should have, like, fixed it and made it not trash. They should have focused more on him than the Kylo Ren and Rey nonsense. Whatever whatever that whatever that, whatever that thing that happened with those two was, they should have not done that. What, whatever. If we see another shiny right horn guy, then we so sad. This will be like our third one in like, well, not third one for this line in like 24 hours. Oh, that's a big one. Hey, what, something's aggressive on us. Is it them? Oh, it is them. Hi, I turn my back for a second and they start running at us. Great. Never turn your back to a right horn. Yeah, yeah, Herbie. Like, I was Skywalker now. That's so stupid. That was so stupid. It's like, who wrote this? AI? Come on, dude. Josh Wheaton. Good lord, learn to write. Am I, am I right, guys? 37, nice. That's a that that's day. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, that's a lot of new berries for us. Lots of new berries. Oh, we found new stuff. Oh, well, I forgot. Yeah, we haven't we have Yeah. Wow. Nice. Those two have not never complete those Pokedexes and we still uh, we're still finding shinies for those. Wild. Wild. I yes, more mass outbreaks. Women empowerment. And bad writing, it's mostly bad writing to be fair, yeah. Poorly written. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we get some good content from Disney soon, because like, they haven't released anything worth mentioning in a fat minute. Like, it's been... Oh, I was gonna say, do we have a Tangela? We do have, we have one Tangela. Nice. We do have a beautiful Turtwig here. Nice. Yeah, hopefully they start, like, going... Hopefully they... The, hopefully the right Is the Rider Strike even over? I'm not even sure. Like, maybe that was, like, a big issue. Cause the, I know there's a Rider Strike, because they weren't getting paid enough, which is understandable. Right? They need more money, of course. I'm not gonna say they didn't. And then, if that's over, if they come to a resolution with that nonsense, then maybe in like a year or two, maybe three, we may be getting some well-written stuff again, or some actually like written stuff, not what the crap we're getting. I thought I did too, but I'm not a hundred percent. See, there's an alpha tangela. Yeah, there's a giant piece of lint. Man, crazy, dude. Forgot they talk to the trees. The trees know what's up. Ah, oh, no, I missed. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Ah, come on, you goofy creature. Uh, well, we gotta hope for our, uh, the next. Hopefully, we have like an outbreak on here. Don't watch it. No, you, okay. Just go to YouTube's, not YouTube. Go to Disney's like Twitter or whatever. They're showing. They're 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 posting the the video like the, not the videos, the songs from that goofy movie. And they're like, yeah, isn't this is the greatest song ever. And um, the the lyrics are fine, I guess, but the way they're delivered are so offbeat and so that they don't line up with like the, the 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 vocal what's it called the notes the the, the the vocalist is singing doesn't even remotely match the the instrumental that's going alongside it if that makes 
sense at all. Like they're they're completely different. They sound like they're completely different like melodies, <laughs> and they're just like slapped together. Oh, yeah, the absolute yeah, the the, complete, the absolute trubbish, which is this movie. Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, you put it like that. So I was just like, and they're like, people in the comments were like, "It's just such a great song." And I'm like, "You guys are bots." Or you're paid off. There's no way you think the song actually works. Come on. You guys are brain dead, right? It's oof. Um, we well we have an Onyx outbreak, but we don't actually want to see Onyx. We don't need Onyx. Tone deaf? I maybe they're tone deaf. You're right. Maybe they are. M maybe that's what it is. But yeah, it's it's. I listened to the whole song, like the one of the songs they posted, and I was like, this is just. This doesn't. I think like the, the lyrics are fine, but everything else is just terrible. I see the lyrics. The way it's, the lyrics that are written are fine. It's just nothing else works with the song. What signal beam? Crazy, dude. Did it connect? Sometimes I hit you with a stupid sticky lob. Goodness. Wow, this one's being a little pain in the butt. Thank you. Alright, we got some skunks. So my goal, to be fair with these these berries, I want to hit 999. Oh, really? Wait, really? They said so they had been... <laughs> really? Well, the issue isn't really the... the... Wait a second, we have Tangle over here? Wait, whoa, 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 Tangle spawn over here on the slopes? No bloody way, dude, I didn't know that. I didn't know that? Okay. I feel like... Okay, let's pretend that they just wrote the music, right? Let's pretend the songwriter wrote the music, but not the lyrics. And then, like, Disney just went and slapped the lyrics onto the, the, the melody, right? Then that's 100% on... that's on Disney. Now, if the writer did the lyrics and the melody and all that, then it's on them because it sucks. I don't care if they knew the characters or not. It's just, <laughs> you know, the lyrics would be fi or, or the fine part of it. The rest of, The rest of the song is the bad part of it. It, it literally it does sound AI generated. Like it sounds like AI generation from like a year ago. Right? It sounds terrible. I, if she writes pop songs, it still that doesn't matter. If she writes pop songs, she should be writing pop songs. To be fair, if she if she's the one who did the melody and the lyric, like if she really actually wrote the music, if she didn't phone it in, right? Like, just listen. Give it a listen, and you'll be like, yeah, this just doesn't work. It's mean. It's almost mean to say, but it's just... They don't sync up. Even for a pop song, they wouldn't sync up. So it just depends, right? Because it really does... It does sound like AI. It sounds like it was, uh... Well, they do need... They, of course, they have musical theater, right? They do. But if you're a pop song, if you if you're a songwriter, you should be able to listen to it and be like, okay, the melody and the lyrics, they don't the melody and the vocals, they don't even remotely sync up together. They don't even sound remotely cohesive, <laughs> right? That's I'm pretty sure songwriting 101, right? It's like you gotta make sure they sound good together, not like they're, it's not like the melody and the lyrics are fighting each other. And it's kind of what it feels like. Double, okay, we got double alpha there. And then if we fly, was it over here? If we, I, I don't like how long it takes to see three of these, but I mean, if it, if it works. Oh, that's not what I want at all. Ben, yeah, let's give it a listen. Go give it a listen. They posted the, the villain song, which yeah. 
Oh, okay, so the, the structure of the song is why it sounds so okay. All right. So once you have more more understanding of it, maybe it makes sense why it's so bad. Why it doesn't sound the way it should. The writing. Okay, so the lyrics itself is what the lyrics are also a problem with it. That okay. All right. Where'd this goofy tangle go, dude? Come on. Okay. All right. All right. We've we wasted too much time at this location. Let's see if we can do uh, something else. Let's see something else. We're gonna see if we can go get another mass mass outbreak. Oh, we got garbage. Okay, it was way up top. It wasn't in the right location. Oh, okay. Yeah, that I would say true. Yeah, that song doesn't have. Yeah, the patterns aren't there for that one. Yeah. Goodness. Anywho, but yeah, no, I guess like give Wish a try. I'm not gonna do it. I refuse, but if you wanna give it a shot, go ahead. Maybe it'll be fun maybe it'll be a fun bad, right? Maybe that's what it could be. Even though I know how it ends, I'm like, that is, how are they gonna make this like the ending makes no bloody sense. It it's whatever, right? It's it's like huh. Hmm. Huh. But Yeah, we'll see what they do. I guess if you watch it like today or tomorrow, let us know and be like, hey, yo, so here's why it's absolutely genius or here's why it's terrible. Scuffling, nice. Nice. Yeah. Like, I feel like if, um, modern day AI was a, were to be the one writing the song, it'd probably be like passable or okay enough, right? I am curious, like, how they went so far in production and without like considering a rewrite <laughs> low quality media oh okay all right understandable nice nice <laughs> holy crap already i keep checking my phone because i keeps like buzzing and I'm like what is going on over here nothing it's just emails it's wow a Cosmic Wonders fan? You're a what? What is Cosmic Wonders? What on earth? I don't even know what that is. I would say it's like an anime or something? I, I have no idea. I'm taking a shot in the dark here. It's like, what? Think TV show? Anime. Easy anime. Clearing the village, I... All right. Seymour's has a little series called. Okay, okay. Prime Minister Seymour's has this little series called. Interesting. That's so funny. What on earth? A few videos for the idea and scrapped it. Oh man. He's like, let's try it. Everyone's gonna love it. And if you're like, this actually kind of mid. He's like, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm done. I can see that happening. I can see that being the case. Oh, we re it's already better with reworking the whole thing. Oh, nice. Okay, well, it's a positive. They didn't completely give up on it, right? They're they're going back to it. They're like, hey, let's let's make it better. Let's rework this, make it so it's not whatever this is, right? That's positive. That's good. Do I have water? I don't. Okay, I knew I got something this morning. But nice. I'm glad that it's uh it's already doing well. It's already working. Well, heck yeah. It's his first big writing and world building projects. Oh no. Oh yikes. Well. Well. You have high hopes. I mean, it sounds really cool if like the prime minister is doing it. You know, it's like the man's like, hey, yo, I have a. He's like, I have a. I have a passion for storytelling. I want to give it a shot, you know, even though he's a, pol a politician, right? 
So it, it's cool to see them do that and not just be like, hey, I want to put money into this corporate this corporation. And then in like three or four weeks, something bad's going to happen. I'll be able to get a massive return on investment and, um, you know, make even more money. He's, oh, wait, 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 he's off, wait, if he's, if he's prime, wait, what's a prime minister then? Hold up. Hold up. Yo, Grookey, hello, good morning. Wait, 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 if he's not, if, what, what's a prime minister if they're not a politician? What are they? Hold, am I, y you mean Prime Minister Seymour, right? Or do you mean, is PM Sam or something totally different? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I may have been, I may have been misreading the situation. Hold up. PM Seymour is a voice actor and a big YouTuber known for his... I don't know who that is. I, I see so you say PM. My brain goes Prime Minister. You know? Okay, never mind. So he's a YouTuber. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, then never mind. Tumblr videos? Tumblr had videos? Tumblr, Tumblr's been dead for like a decade. What the heck? This man do win. All right. Okay. Well, it just went from being impressive to being not so impressive. But hey, it's still cool. I, they're they're able to do a world building project. Heck yeah, dude. Did I just like fly here, teleport back, and then fly back out? I'm I'm lost. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. Oh, it's okay. So he's one of those YouTubers. Okay. All right. Nice. Nice. He puts effort into his content. Nice. Wait, 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 wait. It's still it's it's not dead. I thought Tumblr was completely annihilated like forever ago. Never mind. Wow. So that that's kind of impressive. Yeah. What am I doing? Quit flying this way. I'm gonna scream. Those goofy games, like it's gonna be nighttime forever. Back in the day, nice, nice. I'm sure I've probably watched one of his videos or two back, you know, forever ago. Back before Tumblr was like... Before the mass exodus from Tumblr, right? So I'm sure his content's everywhere at this point, or has been everywhere. Dude. This thing needs to hurry up and shine, that way we can be on our Relicanth hunt. So we can figure out what game we're hunting that in. I'm it's probably not gonna be Sword and Shield, I'll be honest, because like I, I want to avoid those hunts as most as best as much as possible. Until we absolutely can't dodge them anymore. You tried to use it hates AI or it's UI. Yeah, no, I never really used it. I just knew it existed. Yeah. That's 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 what I know about Tumblr. It existed. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it's a good sign. I'm sure people still, I know people still use it according to Grookey, but you know. Holy crap, guys. We look like 11 minutes remaining on today's nonsense, and we have not seen a shiny at all today. It's so, so, so wild comparison. The SJ where we found four goofy shinies, right? It happens. It happens. Man. <laughs> Only good method for- wait, for what? Oh yeah, I only use YouTube. Basically, I use YouTube and then like, I use- I, I scroll Twitter in the mornings to see if anything big happened overnight, and then if not, I just- I, I don't. That's all I do. Those are the two I use, to be fair. I use Facebook for messaging, but, you know, it's whatever. Oh, Sword and Shield? Yeah. Dynamax Adventures? For Relicanth? I'm not gonna hunt Relicanth and Dynamax Adventures. That'd be such a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. You know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Sean and Gerald are terrible for- yeah, I, we might be able to do- I'd say we might be able to do Goofy, um, what's it called? BSP. 
But I think those are options. BDSP or Sword and Shield. And, um... The Sword and Shield has a chaining method for water Pokemon, whereas BDSP doesn't. So we may be in a spot, right? We may be doing either a really bad game or a really bad game. Because I've yet to I've yet to check to make sure that you can even um, I've been I haven't checked to make sure that you can still use Pokemon Bank, right? Because if, if Pokemon Bank's down, then we lose everything, right? We lose every possible good outbreak method. Masuda? I'm not doing Masuda. Yeah, I won't do Masuda for Relicant. Because we have to find a... We have to find a female Relicant. Yeah. So, we're not doing Egg Method. I will go insane if we do Egg Method. We've got to use Cute Charm. If Bank works, though, we're not going to spend forever on Relicant. We'll knock it out in, like, 10 minutes. If you really want to, yeah, go ahead, but, I mean... I, I To be first sawable, I'd rather just go and go out with a sandwich and go and find a sawable outbreak and do it that way. Right? That's... Like, Sword and Shield, like, Scarlet and Violet's, like, the best way to shiny hunt currently. Hands down. Once you know what you're doing. You hate sandwiches? I do too, but it's the fastest way. And if you do Rice Drop Method, it's really easy. It's very, uh, it's very affordable. Too much work and it strains your eyes? I mean, strain. Oh, because you're... Well, Sobble's a, a, a nice shiny, though. Sobble's a very noticeable shiny. Wait, what do you mean harming yourself? What are you talking about? For the wait, for Miss wait, what do you want about Grookey? Hold up, I'm misreading it. <laughs> I know I'm mis I'm misunderstanding. Our boy is like seven pixels. What do you mean? <laughs> no, it's a very it is a noticeable shiny though. Um, I remember being surprised at how good the shiny was in Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. Oh, Masuda. Yeah, that that is pretty. That's pretty rough. That's rough, bud. Yeah. Especially because they, they didn't bring back like one of my favorite things about this game that would like is the release method. If this, if the way you could release Pokemon in this game was in Scarlet and Violet, it'd be such a it'd be a a better game to Masuda hunt in because you could just like you know take a minute or two to get rid of everything that you've hatched. And then go again. Right? It would have been so nice. You can't check your boxes when in camp? Okay. Well, you you can't max out your boxes in half an hour, to be fair. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, you said, you said an, outs an outside timer. You have, a, you have a phone, right? Like, you just set a timer for like half an hour spam the A button, like, and every minute, it's like literally every minute, you just, you tap A. You don't max out your boxes? Yeah, then, you're, then you'll be good. Yeah. And of course, you don't make the sandwich, you buy the sandwich from that place in the southwest city. Too much effort? Yeah. I mean, cause you, every minute, you, you, you get like five eggs, five or six eggs. Which is great, in comparison to old Masuda method stuff, right? And so you can just, like, half an hour, collect all the eggs, go spend, like, another half hour to an hour hatching them. And then, from there, you just go and you reset if you don't get what you want, or you, uh, excuse me, you keep going. I mean, odd number's fine in this game, to be fair. Just because, like... It's so you you move so quick in that game. Like once you get the the post game like flight, you go so fast. You have a system, nice. Yeah. You eggs in and out. 
Understandable. Yeah, I like collecting a bunch of eggs and hatching them all just because it's less of a headache. Because like sword and shield was so, it's the circle stuff. It's running in a circle. It's so boring. It drove me up. It drove me up the wall. I mean, I did like probably thirty or forty thousand eggs in that game. So before I was like, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. So that's that's you know why I don't like Masuda hunting anymore. It just it's so slow. <laughs> All right, and we have a Tangela outbreak, guys. Our last outbreak of the day. It looks like there's nothing else here that we can even mention, so that's good for us, I suppose. So we're going to go over here. We're going to hope we see a shiny Tangela. You love going in circles? I don't. Really? Oh my god. What on earth? Oh, we got two Ting growth over here. Crazy. Not what we expected to see when walking over here, but it's not. Ah, they're females. They're bad. Never mind. I was like, I was like, we want to see that, but we don't. We really don't. They're not. Those were. They had. They had long fingers. We're looking for short fingers. Come on. Oh, come on, game. Uh oh. No, is this gonna be a bust? It might be. A, it might be bad, man. Oh, new horde! New horde! Perfect. Great. Okay, let's get rid of the ones we can. We're gonna we're gonna fight with at least one. Yeah, we're gonna fight with two of them. I bet three. Okay. Yeah, we're we're chaining. Big globs of nonsense now. Get out of the tree! Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh, we're okay. Oh lordy, they got, they got the tree advantage, boys. Oh, is that it? Is that we're, are we done with the horde now? That sucks. Man. That is unfortunate. Science of Toes, all times off the tree. I can see that. Dog flying away from you. That's so sad. So sad even that we didn't, you guys. Yet again, we do not have a shiny thing growth today. This is so sad. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Goodness. She's gone. Oh, she's like, I'm out. Bye. It's like, oh, ding nabbit dog. How dare you? How dare Cannot believe this is so sad. Man. Man, oh man. Okay, let's see if we can get like one more. Oh, we have another one. Yes! Another massive mass outbreak. We want to see this. Let's pray, dude. Let's hope. Tangless. Tangroths. Whatever, right? We got we got to see some Tangless, please. I keep going the wrong way with the camera. I think we have a W here with the... Uh, with our goofy berries, by the way. Come on. Okay, Tangla per Tangla. One Tangla, one Tangla, only one Tangla. Okay, but we also have unknown and we do have some Goomies, which are good. Okay. And yeah, we've got a big W here with our with, with the berries. We're we're positive. We're pretty pretty high up there in the positives today. Thankfully. Okay. Found Tangla. So far no shinies. I know that isn't there a way to like to quickly run back and forth or something and like des like despawn them but also respawn them so you can quickly see if like the outbreak has any shinies in it. I'm probably wrong, but I feel like that's the case. I feel like there there was or is a method like that that works. It's a, it's a Pokeball saving thing, not so much a time saving thing, but Pokeball saving thing. Oh, come on. Give us a horde. Give us a new horde. 
No! Garbage game. Okay, great. Let's go check out our unknowns. The spaghetti monster? The fringe devil are you on about? Okay. But, yeah, and after this, I'm not gonna go for the Goomies. Um, just because I just don't have time for it. After we get these unknowns out of here off the in stream, guys. I but keep in mind, we, no matter what unknown, if we see a shiny unknown at all, it's a W. Alright? The W for the living decks. If. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. If I can hit, hit anything, alright, yeah. I know, it's, yeah. Yeah, those two are out. And they're gone. Yikes. Alright, yeah, and we have no more Tangela or Tangrowth or ignore Gumi. It's fine. It's fine. Anywho, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, we'll be back tomorrow, I think. I hope. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's nothing happening tomorrow morning that, uh, where I won't be able to goofy stream again. But until then, hope you have a great rest of the day. And uh, yeah, guys, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We'll be back with the tang tang growth nonsense again tomorrow, as expected. And uh, yeah, adios, guys. <laughs>